So were you following along with that search for a missing zebra in Washington state? A lot of us were. The strange hunt is now over. The zebra mare was captured on Friday night after spending nearly a week running around the Cascades. It all started last weekend when four zebras escaped from a trailer on Interstate 90 in King County near North Bend, Washington. Three of the zebras were corralled that day with the help of a rodeo clown. Can't make that up. But one of them, a mare called Sugar or Suge, got away. There were a few sightings throughout the week and she inspired people to go out and search for her, but she wasn't caught until Friday night. She was found in a neighborhood and it took animal control about three hours to round her up. Sugar became a bit of an animal celebrity. Along with the search, there were zebra memes all over social media. The zebras were being transported from Lewis County to Western Montana for a petting zoo there. But it does beg the question, how did a group of zebras get to Washington State in the first place? Well, we dug into it because that's what we do. Turns out it's perfectly legal to own zebras in both Washington and Oregon. The states essentially consider them livestock. Here's the Oregon State veterinarian to explain. There's only five categories of animals that we regulate, um, and those are generally dangerous exotic animals. Um, everything else from the standpoint of our rules are considered to be livestock. Um, and so we regulate them from the health standpoint. There are requirements we impose for importation in the state, different things like that. But something like a zebra is considered the equivalent of a horse. It's considered another equid. Um, and there are a handful of them that exist in the state that, that do live here. Um, and we know that, you know, zebras and horses are actually able to interbreed too. And so that creates some additional conflicts there. That, and Huh. Didn't think about that. You want to know what else is on the Oregon's list of non-controlled species? Elephants, giraffes, and hippos, among others. Yes, it's apparently legal under state law to own an elephant in Oregon. And Dr. Schulz says he knows of someone who has some. There is an individual here in Oregon that owns a couple of elephants privately even. But be they, they fall under USDA animal care's jurisdiction. So they are licensed with USDA. We don't license them. They're, you know, that's, that's not a regulated species. We only regulate those five categories that we are given authority to regulate. Otherwise, our regulations are all about health and making sure the animals come here are healthy, but not necessarily prohibiting them. So yeah, the feds are pretty heavily involved. Now, if you're gonna go get an elephant or a zebra or many other kinds of animals, you need a license from the federal USDA. And then of course, there are local ordinances to think about and zoning. For instance, in Portland, you are allowed to have an equine animal, horses, mules, donkeys, llamas, for example, within the city limits, but only if you have a big enough lot. It has to be over 20,000 square feet. We checked and zebras fall into that category. The city of Portland said actually they enjoyed getting that question from us. By the way, did you know you're not even allowed to own a rooster in Portland, only female chickens? So yeah, lots of rules. Dr. Scholz says most of the zebras owned across the country are privately bred here in the U.S. We looked into it. They go for a couple of thousand dollars if you can find a breeder. So we thought you'd be interested to know about that. What do you think about all that? Should animals like zebras and elephants be allowed in the Northwest? Have you ever seen exotic animals around here outside of a zoo? Let us know, will you? Send us an email, the address again, thestory at kgw.com, or call and leave a voicemail, 503-226-5090.